Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our middle school portion of the cabaret concert. Um, I am going to turn the microphone over to Drew and Tucker to get us going and announce our first piece. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and welcome to the middle school cabaret concert. We hope you are ready to travel around the world for an afternoon of great music. Just in case you have a travel bug or issues beyond this small town weather, the band, Thornton, and Jazz Band have music fans in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, and Australia. Basically, every continent inside the band of Africa. We figured you'd do a lot to encourage any more snow since we just got some this past week. We hope that throughout your time with us, you check your trip out the concession stand and the basket back. We do, however, ask that out of respect for how hard all of these musicians have worked, that you wait to enter and enter the gym between songs during the applause. 
Let's get traveling. The first song up in our concert today is at This song is written to accompany the charge of dance that originated in Cuba during the 1960s. So before we begin our departure, we ask that you sit back, buckle your seatbelt, and to your bandage underneath your seat or the open of the curtain. Please turn your cell phones to air mode, or at least make sure they're in the air system. And before we begin, no one listens to those beautiful announcements anyways. Enjoy the show. We are going to travel to a small island just off the eastern coast of Brazil that translates to Snake Island in English. This island is named after the numerous plants had hit by birds, which are the golden snakes that live there. Do yourself a favor if you are afraid of snakes, don't Google search this island. There used to be natural bridges that connected this island to the mainland of Brazil, but now it is covered by seawater, so there are no way for the snakes to leave the island. Thank you. The Brazilian government. Government has actually deemed this island so dangerous, so dangerously that they prohibited any humans from traveling there. It's a good thing we're just transporting you there through our music and not actually going there. Please enjoy, stay kind.
children from words for high shoulders, ear, nose, and other. The third song is a prayer song from Ghana on Sansi Korma. This is a singing theme for the Sansi Hard Hop tries to catch small chicks and the few protect them from attack. African music is characterized by short color pattern with lots of cutting and catastrophe. Please enjoy African Thank you. 
thank you guys so much for being here. Just a couple quick announcements before we play our last number. Um, I have been in the cabaret concert many years as a student, but uh, this was my first year being on the teacher end of things, and I am just absolutely blown away by the help and the support that we have at Akron. Uh, the custodian set up this floor that you are walking on, and all of the staging behind me, and then we had just a number of fantastic parents that came in to set up all the tables and chairs that you are sitting at now. So if they are here or if they are not here, can you just join me in a big round of applause for, for all of us? give a, a quick shout out. I know sickness is, is rampant. I don't sound like myself right now. I'm fighting a little something, but we had a, a last minute sickness come up and Adelaide in the eighth grade uh, percussion section stepped in last minute to just be a lifesaver to play for us. So thank you so much Adelaide. If we could please give her a round of applause. <laughs> And then just a quick housekeeping thing, all of the middle schoolers, chorus, band, orchestra, uh, we are going to Gary Lake at the end of the year, and hopefully at this point in time, we have seen the permission slip come home. Uh, those permission slips are actually going to be due at the end of this week. We do need time to just get everything ordered, so even though we're not going until May 31st, permission slips for Gary and Lake for all middle school students are due on Thursday. So don't worry if you have not seen it, if it has not made its way home to you yet. I did print out a handful of extras, so uh, if you do need an extra, I put some at the concessions table. Um, so if you have not turned that in, if you could please send that in with your time sometime this week, that would be much appreciated. Uh, so we are going to travel to Russia for our last song, and play a song entitled Horobushka.
Good afternoon, everyone. Well, the course is still getting set there, we are going to take time right now to recognize our eighth graders. Um, at this time, we'll call up the eighth graders and they will receive a flower and give that flower to someone that they chose to give to the concert. Um, before we do that, let's give a round of applause for all our eighth graders and all the hard work they're doing. to be Sophia Brady, and she is given the flower to her mom and dad, Lynn and Robert. When they come to find you, if you could just wave, there's a lot of people in here, and they want to see you right away, so that would be extremely helpful to them. Next eighth grader we have is Gabby Dispenza, who plays trumpet and band, as well as jazz, and she'll be giving the flower to her mom, Jenna. Our next eighth grader is clarinet player, Annika Forrestal. I try. I don't think I've ever gotten it right. Um, and she'll be giving it her flower to her dad, Brian. Our next eighth grader plays percussion in both jazz and the concert band. Abby Gerstel will be giving her flower to her mom and dad, Justin and Rochelle. Our next eighth grader is Liam Molina, who plays alto sax in our jazz band as well as our concert band. And he'll be giving his flower to his mom. Next up, our next eighth grader is a flute player and concert band. Her name is Lady Brown, and she'll be giving her flower to her dad, Wes. Our next eighth grader is Evan Iverson. He plays bass and jazz, and he'll be giving his flower to his mom, Melissa. Sometimes I make last minute changes. Our next eighth grader is alto sax player Gabe King, and he'll be giving his flower to mom and dad Andrea and Sean. The next eighth grader is a French horn player, Andy Kroll, who plays the concert band. She'll be giving a flower to her mom, Carrie. <laughs> next eighth grader is George Laurie, who plays trumpet in our concert band, trumpet and jazz as well. I call him Mr. Tim Hortons sometimes because when he comes to my jazz, he always has something from Tim Hortons. He'll be giving his flower to his mom and dad, B. Rob. Our next eighth grader is our only bassoon player in concert band, panelist. She'll be giving her flower to her mom and dad, Kelly and Jeff. Our next eighth grader is a percussionist who plays in our concert band as well as our jazz band. His name is Jesse Madden, and he will be giving his flower to his mom, Cheryl. Our next eighth grader plays in the concert band, jazz band, as well as the sixth grade band tonight, filling in. Uh, her name is Adelaide Mandel, and she'll be giving flower to her sister, Daphne. Our next eighth grader is a tuba player. Her name is Elsa Mapes, and she'll be giving her flower to her aunt, Terry. Our next eighth grader is a baritone player who plays in our concert band. He's also played in our jazz band last year, and he will be giving his Reagan Paul Castle. He will be giving his flower to his mom. Our next 
Our next eighth grader is a clarinet player. Her name is Carly Reed, and she will be giving her flower to mom and dad, Denise and Tanya. We're going to introduce our next two eighth graders together. Um, it's Evan Yang, who plays trombone in our concert band. Cole Sisla, who's a baritone player in concert band, as well as jazz band. They're going to be giving their flower to one of their best friends, Sam Reagan. <laughs> Our next eighth grader, the only eighth grader to receive a flower tonight so far, that he gets to keep himself. Uh, he plays bass and jazz band for No Smoke. He plays bass in our high school jazz band. He's playing bass tonight with the chorus. He's playing bass today with the chorus in middle school. He's playing bass with the high school band tonight. He uh, plays bass, I think, with just everyone. Uh, Sam Reagan, he's going to be giving his, his flower to his dad. Our next eighth grader is a clarinet player as well as playing bass clarinet for us this year. Her name is Lily Sears. She will be giving her flower to her mom and dad, Penny and Kevin. <laughs> Our next eighth grader is an orchestra player, but also plays in male percussion in jazz ensemble. She will be giving her flower to her dad, Isis Whitmarsh. Last but not least for me, for the 8th graders, we do have a couple of 8th graders who play in band of orchestra, who Mrs. Pence will be introducing, is Jacob Wilde. He plays trumpet in our concert band, and he will be giving his flower to his mom and dad, Michelle and Eric. Okay, now for the chorus students, we have a chorus member who's also in band and orchestra. She does it all. Stephanie Amirian is going to present the flower to her aunt and her grandparents. The kids can pick up their flower. They can manage. They're in eighth grade. They're about to be in high school. Next up, we have Delana Blair, and she will be giving the flower to her sister, Isla. And family members, if you could stand up when we call your eighth grader's name, that will help them to spot you. Next, we have Hunter Bilicki, who will be giving his flower to his dad, Kirk. <laughs> Liliana Dean will be presenting her flower to her cousin, Ella. <laughs> One of our altos, Emma Fink, who also participated in the junior high all county this year is giving her flower to her dad and stepmom. <laughs> James Fink in the baritone section will be giving his flower to his mom Terry. Another all-county student, Brooke Brown, is going to present her flower to her mom, Catherine. <laughs> Next up, we have Hunter Haste. He will be giving his flower to his mom, Kimberly, and dad, Chuck. Next up, we have Ryder Jonathan presenting his flower to his mama, Brenda. <laughs> A member of both 
band and chorus, and another all county singer, Cassandra Judge, will be presenting her flower to her mom, Heidi. Next up, Cameron Bob Binder will be presenting her flower to her dad. Emma Nishio will be presenting her flower to her mom, Amy. Next, Molly O'Hara, one of our altos, will present her flower to her mom, Brooke. We have another baritone coming up. Isaiah Orr will be giving his flower to his mom, Diana. One of our altos, Olivia Alton, will be presenting her flower to her mom, Brooke. Annabelle Rumanap, one of my new chorus members this year as an eighth grader, will be giving her flower to her brother, Caleb. <laughs> Next up, we have Riley Stuber, and she will give her flower to her sister, Kaylee, and mom, Angie.
is a Mexican folk song believed to have a melody that originated in Spain and brought to North America with Spanish explorers. The translation of De Colores is all the colors. The lyrics are, is an, are an expression of happiness and celebration that our world is full of so many colors. This song celebrates the idea that the, the more colors we see, the richer and brighter our world is. A song by our resident bass player, Sam Reagan.
At the time, my composer had a student from Kenya, and she assisted with creating the text in Swahili that translates to We Are One. It is meant to be an uplifting, hopeful song to the modern capitalist style.
Behind me is the middle school jazz band. Uh, we rehearse on Thursday mornings from 7.15 to 8. The first song we are going to be playing is called Martian Square Dance. Uh, in that first song solo, you heard from Evan, Hannah Rivera, 
on gluten, I mean cheese on oval, Leah Clark Prayer at Eliza Cooper on Alpha Six, Judas Buds on oval, Tressa Bergman on trumpet, George Laurie on trumpet, Brooke Warren on trumpet horn, and Sam Bergman on bass. Let's give him a round of applause. Our next selection was originally written by Ernesto Luciano, who is arguably Cuba's greatest serious composer. He was a gifted pianist who wrote hundreds of songs and piano works before he died in 1963. Most of his music is comprised in a rich, authentic Cuban style. Our next song is Malaguena. Thank you. 
Our next selection is a famous Russian folk song called Song of the Bogoboban. Please make sure you are buying your 5050 tickets. I don't know if Mrs. Stone is around here somewhere. She is selling with Mrs. Stone. 50-50. Make sure you buy your 50-50 tickets. We will have one of them. Oh, there she is right there. Mrs. Stone, raise your hands so everyone can see her. Okay, if you need 50-50 tickets, she is selling them right now. Uh, we also will be announcing our one of our door prizes at the end of this concert, so please make sure that will be right at the end of the 7th and 8th of your concert. Our final selection for the jazz band will be Song of the Bogo. Thank you. 
as our percussion art of being set right now, there's some stuff left to do. From the jazz videos, the jazz, and bring it up over the stage. So, yeah, a little bit of a wait time here. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. We do have our high school cabaret concert tonight, which is at 7 o'clock. So, if you like what you hear tonight and you want to see some older students performing, we are back at it at 7 o'clock. If you would like to be on the Active Music Parents Board or want to be involved with the Active Music Parents, please talk to myself, uh, Mrs. Pitts, or if you see Mrs. Bright, she's on it as well, Mrs. Rapp, Mrs. Stoll, Mrs. Polkowski, if you want to know what else I'm right now, uh, feel free to talk to one of them. Um, we'll Let's see, percussion, what are we doing? Thumbs up. I see. One minute, one minute. to Australia to listen to the Adventures of Hunger, which has included the Ball Ballad of Ned Kelly, a song about Australia's most famous outlines. It also included Bobby Bay as well as Pound from South Australia. Thanks for traveling to Africa to listen to some of the native songs. The first number of three years is, this, is a South African folk song followed by a Sikh folk song in the second movie. The final movement is the national anthem of South Africa. Please hold your applause to the until after the third song. Thank you. 
In our next piece, we get ready to hop on a train to travel the world. The great locomotive chase was inspired by a Civil War era train chase. This romantic work depicts what becomes known as the boldest adventure of the war. Listen for all the sounds in the band that represent train noises. All right, up next we have our door prize drawing as well as our 50-50 ticket drawing. So pull out your tickets right now. I'm a girl who is performing at the concert tonight. For the door prize. For the door prize. Zero nine five four one six zero. Yellow ticket. Is that anyone's ticket? One more time. Zero nine five four one six zero. All right. Did anyone? Basket raffle ticket from your door prize stuff. If you have that number, come see Mrs. Bragg will be out there. And if we don't get anyone, we'll call them, right? Because we have all the time. And if they if you are not here currently, we will call you and write it down. Next is our 50-50. The total for the 50-50 was $1,206, so if you win today, this afternoon, you will be walking home with $603, okay? Okay, it's a green ticket. It's 673215. Where is it? Over there! This is Stone, we'll bring it over to you. Thank you. 
Before we play our last selection, I would like to thank everyone who's helped make this event possible. First, it starts with our studio staff, hard work prepping for this event. It started this Monday when they started moving all this equipment down the stage, all the stages and everything they need. They were here Thursday afternoon, all the way into Friday, setting up and then allowing us to have our dress rehearsals throughout the day. I would like to also thank everyone who donated baskets, has helped set up this, and volunteered for this event. I would also like to thank those active music parents on the board for their continued support, organization, great ideas, and to help make this event great every year. I would like to also thank our administrators for their continued support inside and outside the classroom for scheduling and attending rehearsals along with performances. Lastly, this concert would not be possible without the hard work of the students behind me. Let's give all the students who performed tonight a round of applause. If you put tickets in the basket auction, the basket auction will be drawn tonight. Um, if you are not here for that, then do pull the tickets and then write down who won those because I can't keep track of everyone's tickets. So you do not have to be present for the basket auction that will be picked tonight. Our last selection is a Spanish march called Spain. Have a great afternoon. Hope to see some of you guys tonight for our high school family. Thank you. 